Welcome to part six of the links, the 130 links that are essential if you want to learn live code. But of course, there are many more links out there that could lead you down similar paths of learning. So hopefully these links will be something you can use as a resource. You're welcome to store them in anything and you share them with other people. So you can put them into your browser bookmarks. You could just cubbyhole them in something like the script or scrapbook. You could be doing many things that help you with downloading stacks and studying and then asking questions. The use revolution list, as it used to be called, is now called the live code user list or use live code. And those can be wonderful resources because you can ask questions directly of people who want to be helpful. They're tuned in and we all kind of take turns answering questions. You'll find some people are quite expert at images or databases, but they're not sure how to use something like a data grid because they haven't used it. The other people that are of you know, interest are people that are into the web server technology of today. They want to migrate from PHP over to live code, and they have a lot of helpful hints. And one of them would be RevIgniter. RevIgniter is a great technology to use in conjunction with live code in order to produce really good functioning websites in far less time than it would normally take you. So enjoy these links. Uh, Mark, you just mentioned uh, the slideshow about HyperCard showing about 100 very cool stacks. Um, that would be a good one to, to pull together on this because Sometimes those are the inspirations for I could do that in live code in less than two hours or two days or something like that. Okay, I'm reading the chat because we're having a little interaction here. I can, of course, put up a bunch more links. They're all on that one page, so you can cruise them anytime you want now that it's you know on the web. Um, if anybody has something they really want to just toss into the mix, maybe we could have a little download center for some of this, too. I know a couple people, like I said, that archive almost anything to do with HyperCard, Runtime Revolution, and people's efforts on those categories. So even though those people might have moved on to something else and don't care, they're unreachable, we could still pull together quite a few things that um, are important to us. Well, I know one thing that tends to be, uh, they're bringing up the uh, issue here of a uh, server space, and one thing that tends to be an issue is people move servers or they're in a location where they have access to a server, then they take a new job in a year or two. Um, I have server space that can be used, and uh, that would be something I'd be willing to do. The server space I'm using won't change because I'm not going to be changing that server location even if I move to a different city. What's interesting is there are, some, there are two people I met in the last two weeks from New Zealand and Australia who are university level. They are using Revolution and are looking into using it even more. So uh, interesting projects there, again, in the, uh, the education area. Um, Clark A. brings up a good point. The challenge is to improve the signal-to-noise ratio. Um, that means, you know, the stuff that really doesn't pass muster. Somebody started on it, but then they acknowledge they didn't finish it. Uh, the has some bugs in it or doesn't really work right or isn't the best code or got to the point of starting custom properties and then just said, oh, to heck with it, but they still put it up there. And uh, we could throw them in the hopper saying, you know, until they... You know, are reviewed by somebody, they wouldn't be thrown into the good column. Um, but then there are some out there like Tactile Media. I'm going to put that one up there just because this comes into tactilemedia.com. Uh, this is a site that is on the list. But there are a lot of examples here of high quality. So yes, it does make a difference when there's quality. Well, good. And some of the education people are stuck with using old versions of 
of you know uh, either Rev Media, Dream Card, because that's all they can afford or that's what they've been using for so long. They just keep teaching the same lessons using the old software. We would like to try and put in new versions that match today's live code. In the education area, of course, you want to have the legacy software because some people just don't have the newest version. They aren't going to get the newest version for a long time, but they would like to have some of the new stuff. Well, thank you for the uh, the big hand for the uh, the collection. It's that you mentioned that it's my collection. Well, actually, it's our collection because it's on the Live Code site. Live Code TV. Links. And send them to me, and I'll keep modifying this. We're gonna the categorizing is important. And uh, maybe links to pages that contain the, the links is what we really want to do as a, as a meta site rather than a, an individual link site. I suppose what I should do is wave goodbye and say thank you for paying attention. And uh, like I said, I'm going to be editing so that the, the silent part, the silent movie, a throwback to the really old days, uh, doesn't appear in the on-demand version. Thanks again.